coming at you from Diamond Bee Farm with another video. Well, today is the day. Well, I mean, this has been going on for maybe a week or so. Um, our remember we had a video on going and getting chestnuts. Well, they are since starting to sprout, and this is going to be our chestnut planter. There's, um, these are the show show these to you. These are the little pots that they're going to be coming in that we're going to plant them in. They've got holes for drainage. Uh, they're kind of collapsible. But anyway, this will hold 96, 98. 98. I always get that wrong, you know. 98 of these. I really hope that we do have that good of a germination rate. Kevin today is working on the top. How will the top come up? Will it just fold up? Oh, no, but will it set up? How will it set up? set up? Here. It'll set up like this so that we can set these down inside like that. And if you'll see, we've got just some hardware cloth on the inside of this. So when we water, that the water can go through. Um, but so far, this is what we've got. And we will get ready to, after we get this done, to plant us some chestnut trees. on that post there. I know we always have that one one dog. She's probably down there swimming in the creek.
two more? Three more. I don't put none on the top, but I made some to put on the top too. Oh yeah. I don't know why. Them on the bottom is. Right. Let's check on the garlic too. It's my garlic. We've had to put a net up around it because the peacocks like to get in it and dust. They're looking pretty good. Got cold. It started. They started um, growing. Then they got real cold, and so here we are. Uh oh. Who Haley was hollering for? She's now on the rope of shame because <laughs> she's not coming back with her recall. Bless it. She just likes to go to the creek. That's why I slammed the gate earlier because she normally knows That's when I slam the gate, it's better time to come home. <laughs> Bad time to get home and never ride a girl. She likes to swim. She's wet. Oh. I got a new puppy. I don't know if we've like four months. I don't know. Have we? Really? I'm in, Libby. I'm here. So she knows Millie. I got a treat in, the po in my pocket. Josie. And then this is our new baby. This is our new baby, Libby. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yes. my goodness. Register border collie. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. She's about six months old-ish. Yeah. And she's doing really good. She's really smart. She just loves to play. And I'm letting her be a puppy and play. Before the spring, you know, she's actually, <laughs> actually going to have to work. She's very goofy. She's got really big feet, bless her heart. And she doesn't know how to use them yet. So she just kind of throws them when she has to go places. <laughs> but she can't her help and it. Josie are best friends, kind of. Sometimes. Forced relationship, I think. But um, yeah, I'm really, really don't care much for her. Okay. So. We're going to go back over here and see what they've got going. Okay. This will have plastic over it. You're not gonna put plastic over it? I thought she was gonna put some. It's cold. I'm gonna put wire over it. Oh, gotcha. Didn't you watch the other? No, I didn't watch anything. I didn't, wasn't paying any attention. Cause you know, that's what a good wife does. <laughs> she don't pay no attention to them. <laughs> That wind, y'all, is awful. Right there on this end. We're putting hardware cloth on there so that we can keep the critters out. Sprouting the chestnuts has been kind of a fun but slow project. A big gardener, a big container gardener, or if you are a small container gardener, big container gardener, anyway, if you garden, you may want to, or homestead, you may want to try um, adding some nuts or fruit trees to no. your homestead. Um, we're adding chestnuts. We already have pecans. I would love, love, love to add fruit trees. Um, that may be another project to see if we can't get some sprouted or pick up some at some of the nurseries. But it would be a good addition to your homestead is fruit or nut trees. Just Our chestnut tree planter is just about done. That's the bottom. That's the top. And hey, if you are a farmer, 
Yeah, well, I mean, you don't even have to be a farmer. You may want to consider adding pecan trees, chestnut trees, or even some fruit trees to your house, to your homestead. It would be a great addition. It truly takes a village. You know, there is one good thing about farm life. Whenever you go to do something, the whole family does it. Of course, and then you always got your trusted companion right by your side. Jealous. This one likes to play. Yeah. This one right here is her own sale. Yeah, that's why she's on the rope of shame. Just about on all four sides. Ain't no mouse going to get in, get them chestnuts. That's what it looks like trying to get a pitcher. <laughs> but now, I'm so excited about getting our chestnuts replanted. What are you going to do to it? Because it's almost done. You going to put something on top? No. What are you looking for? My hammer. Back the bucket. <laughs> you can't have a farm or a barn without some sort of junk. Just how it goes. But the top is about is done. Is the top done? Top is done. Okay. So, this is what it's going to look like. I'll hammer it in. Just a few more little minor adjustments and we'll be ready to plant. You, we built this so that the mice and the squirrels and whatever else was, can stay out of it. So we'll eat the chestnuts. <laughs> 